Hi everyone, my name is Dipankar and I'm an R&D advocate at Click. Welcome to the Hello World series. Today we're going to talk about Picasso.js. Picasso.js is an open source charting library by Click R&D that is designed for building custom, interactive, component-based visualizations. Now what separates Picasso from the other charting libraries? First, Picasso is component-based. A visualization usually comprises various building blocks or components that form the overall chart. For example, a scatter plot consists of two axes with one variable on each of the axes and the data is displayed as a point. What if, instead of an individual point, you wanted to draw a pie chart that presents some more information? Picasso.js allows you to do so. Due to its component-based nature, you can practically build anything by combining various blocks of components. Second, Picasso.js is extensible. What if you wanted to create visualizations with a set of custom themes that aligns with your organization? Most importantly, for Clixus users, how do you bring the power of associations to these custom charts? Picasso.js allows you to harness these capabilities easily using custom plugins. Next, Picasso.js provides interactive visuals out of the box. Apart from basic interaction patterns, interactivity in the form of brushing and linking is provided in Picasso. You can make scales draggable or use lasso to draw around points. Picasso.js is available on the public NPM registry as an NPM package and can be installed through either NPM or as a script import. Our click.dev page has a curated list of amazing examples if you're just getting started with Picasso. We have also created a glitch playlist with all the examples so you can easily try them out. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think about this video. You can also follow us on Twitter at ClickDeveloper to get the latest updates. Thank you.